Hi, Chris. Good to see you. <coughs> so from early seed capital to something a bit different. <laughs> Very much different. Yeah. So Intel is a company, it's interesting, uh, I was seeing the announcement that Sean Maloney moving here, a very senior focus uh, for the company. On the, on the capital side too, you guys have been very busy here. And uh, what differences in your approach do you see, obviously, in, in the US market to, uh, to China for Intel capital? So maybe capital? a little bit of the, yeah, uh, the background on Intel capital. Intel capital, yourself. I guess yeah. uh, everybody knows this is probably one of the largest uh, corporate venture in the world. I've uh, been invested for uh, uh, almost uh, 17, 18 years now. Uh, we're starting from 1994. And uh, actually, just a few days ago, our uh, president Arvin announced we invest more than 10 billion um, globally mm -hmm. uh, since uh, we started. But uh, uh, anyhow, uh, what I want to say is, uh, in China, we uh, pretty much just like pretty much uh, every other uh, VC or mm -hmm. PE firm, we operate um, uh, by the uh, return, financial returns. Uh, however, we do try to support uh, uh, Intel if there's anything that we can help right. uh, by leveraging Intel strengths to support the portfolio company. That's our uh, offer. So, which sectors? Uh, we break it down. You, how do you look uh, at, at, at the world? Typical here? TMT. Actually, we we do we even do um, you know e-commerce, mm -hmm. and that's not really anything directly related to Intel, but uh, no. hey, uh, still it's on server in the behind. So right, it sells chips <laughs> and servers. Yeah. So um, we had if I maybe heard some of the other panelists' uh, views on on bubble and, and things like that. Do you have any particular gut feel about where we are right now? Um, I, I mean, don't the public really markets versus we're talking more about the private markets. So right, right, but, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So, so <coughs> mostly private market because that's where I uh, work. Yeah. Um, we actually visit a few uh, economists uh, in China uh, just uh, last month. We try to do that because we try to understand whether there's really an, a bubble. Um, the finding is uh, our conclusion. I would say our, our conclusion is uh, you know, it might be some correction. It sounds like the, the government going to control the uh, economy growth to a certain degree, right. and therefore it, it won't be like a you know, typical capitalist market. You had a crash, it seems like that. It, it wouldn't. It's a soft landing, yeah. right? Yeah. So it seems to be reasonable. Now, for investor, mostly we try to be uh, disciplined and cautious on the valuation. That's mm -hmm. typical. But on the other hand, uh, we also try to see something that's not the typical um, hot items. For right. example, herd mentality. We try to avoid that. Okay. And geographically, I know I mean, Intel's a big investor in the corporate side and places like, like Chengdu and so on. Are you, are you seeing, uh, to, to your point there about wanting to avoid the really, really hot stuff, are you, are you finding there's a geographic element to this or is that really irrelevant in terms of finding the promising companies? And um, We well, just heard from the, from the previous panels about the different differences in, in some of those entrepreneurs. I'm just wondering if you see anything uh, yourself in your, in your world. And, uh, to, to me, not really, because I, I think most of this uh, exciting stuff is still happening in the big cities. Right. Right? So we still visit most of the big cities. Uh, maybe in the second tier city, mm -hmm. uh, but not really to Xi'an or okay. anywhere like <laughs> <Right> that. <now. laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, just joking. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, anyhow, uh, geographically, uh, I guess uh, there's something here, they're a little bit different. You mentioned about Wenzhou before. Mm -hmm. That's very, actually a very interesting uh, community. If you, you've been here for a long yes. time, you know that. <laughs> you know, it's a very interesting community. But. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that's an ideal place for a, a foreign investor like us, but uh, definitely there are some people make money uh, from. Well, there's a lot of cash available, perhaps for you know uh, earlier stage stuff, or even later. I mean, there's a lot of capital there, but it's it's, it's, a, it's 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 a world to itself, really. I think Wenzhou is an it? Sort of, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, very different. But uh, in a way, um, uh, Intel Capital operate here. We try to uh, do something maybe a little bit less on yeah. the uh, so-called technology, but more of a consumer mm -hmm. retailing. So just by echo what you said, it's a, it's a typical, like uh, when Joe people hit, they buy real estate, they buy all mm -hmm. that kind of uh, consumer retailing stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's not really to do with technology at all. So, mm -hmm. And in terms, we touched on a bit earlier the US dollar versus the RMB picture. I mean, what are you seeing in terms of uh, uh, running a US dollar fund versus uh, the RMB for, you, for yourselves? I mean, are you looking at uh, for the future, do you anticipate having to do more on the R&B side as a, as a company? Yeah, uh, I think uh, we tried that a few years ago. Uh, we actually, because the Intel Capital uh, operate uh, from the fund, from the Intel right. balance sheets, right? Everybody knows. So we do have the advantage we can do R&B or do US dollar. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, uh, that's, that's from the uh, mm -hmm. balance sheet, right? So uh, I, I think a few years ago, we tried to pursue those R&B cases, but later on, we found there's uh, challenges, mm -hmm. mostly on the regulatory. Okay. Because you found R&B uh, IPO, and you found there's a more and more uh, to uh, your mic a bit closer. Oh, sorry. oh, I'm sorry. sorry. More and more issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, on the uh, when you go IPO, you had to pass through all the regulatory issues yes. and all that. So we we we're not saying this is not attractive, but we're saying uh, those are the things we remain cautious on. Okay. Investing heavily. 
So which sectors do you think are, have the most appeal uh, the next sort of 24 months that you think would? Uh, that something to relate to my personal background. Yeah. I, I came from uh, Silicon Valley. I uh, do um, mobile investment in Asia for a couple of years. Uh, now, I, uh, you know, less than years ago, I moved to China to investment. So I, I'm still very uh, excited about uh, mobility. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the uh, you know, trend for everything happening on the phone mm -hmm. or uh, mobile devices, whatever you call it, tablet, whatever you call it. So um, I, I, think, uh, I think there's a previous speaker talking about a, there's a, you know, challenges. Challenges mostly from the infrastructure provider. I'm mm -hmm. talking about service provider, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in, uh, maybe in China. There's a lot of the challenges, which I, I, I think I knew uh, deeply about them. I, I think uh, the issue is who really provide value to the consumer. Everybody want to be the gatekeepers, right? So um, as long as there's a business model that can help to smooth out that challenges between the different uh, um, value provider, you call it, then I, I think there's a business model that can come up. That's what I believe. Are you seeing anything in the area of uh, you know machine to machine automation, or are you still very much a kind of consumer uh, mobile sort of uh, flavor investment? I look at quite a few end to end stuff. Um, my sense is uh, those things are uh, mostly to do with government mm. uh, or uh, you know kind of a national agenda kind of thing. Right. So uh, naturally, as a foreign investor, we try to avoid that. Stick to P two P. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So outside of mobile, I mean, what uh, uh, in terms of you know like cloud and other things, what 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 views do you have? There's so many, uh, so much hype around that. that what, it's what nice. Yeah, cloud now become what is cloud? Even inside of know. Intel, we're asking us, what is cloud? It's Everybody come up with different yeah. answers. So, <laughs> uh, but um, uh, in a way, when I say um, mobility, I, I would say uh, it's uh, as uh, almost uh, like everything you do on PC, you're gonna be on a mobile. Sure. And, but, the, but the challenge is here, right? Uh, you don't have that kind of input that convenient as a keyboard or a mouse. Mm -hmm. You don't have that kind of a display that as big as a screen uh, as a, you know, on, on PC or a laptop. So uh, those are the challenges bringing and that will bring a uh, different business model. For example, uh, when you do advertisement, I saw an advertisement company on mobile phone. I also saw an advertisement company on the internet. Mm -hmm. They they came different approach. I think uh, on the internet they try to uh, make sure that there's a precision on where you target the customer will be. Right. But on the on the on the um, uh, mobile phone they try to see how you can make a best display to the target audience. That that's a second. Uh, it's a different degree of uh, issues. So so I would say they they all have their uh, different perspective. They're all very interesting to me. And one of the a uh, couple of panelists are, are earlier talking about the. Um, you know, genealogy of the entrepreneurs in terms of some of them coming out of Taobao and so on. <clears throat> what, do, you, do you concur with those comments that you're seeing a real maturation of entrepreneurs here that you're getting more seasoned? Or, um, are those the people you want to back or are you still um, uh, looking for people, kind of first-time entrepreneurs? Or, I mean, oh, absolutely. I, I think uh, we um, come from the uh, corporate venture side. We, we kind of, uh, you can call it a little bit uh, risk taking in a way. Mm -hmm. So we do we do try to um, do some of the deal at the early stage. We try try to uh, through our relationship know the entrepreneur and try right. to back them up, right? Mm -hmm. For the later stage, we, we then become a little bit conservative because um, you know obviously it's a bigger box, and we, we have we have our own uh, connection globally. Mm -hmm. We can get a reasonable deal done. So that's why we kind of become a little bit uh, more conservative. We try to see a reasonable late stage deal rather than uh, through high valuation. To Mm -hmm. Big bucks. So that's a different approach. But just to answer your question, I think uh, for the earlier stage, it's always about people. That, that's why I believe. Even though, um, you know, I, I may be a little bit Silicon Valley background, but, um, you know, just uh, some people told me, hey, in China, you know, uh, it's probably a little bit uh, less important, but uh, that's not what I believe. Right. Okay. And so beyond, uh, um, you know, uh, mobile and, and cloud, are there any particular small areas that you think might have tremendous potential that? Uh that you're keeping an eye on? Uh, I still, uh, again, I'm still looking at the mobile, so I would say uh, payment is one of the okay. things that's critical. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, right now you say Taobao, Zhifubao, and all that. Th those are uh, still very inconvenient, in my opinion. Um, and, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's still very inconvenient. You, you, you can't really, like, click away. Right? No. You, can't, you, can't, right. you can't really do that. So um, uh, th that's an that's a issue. And also, if you want to do the uh, uh, um, um, internet payment, you don't you don't really have that convenience as you uh, in my opinion. It's quite a lot of steps to right right more steps not like PayPal you can right. just click right and then right you know. so there's still a lot of things to do. Okay, cool. Well, great. Well, I think uh, any other observations or comments on the other panelists or. Uh
No, it's a it's a great pleasure to be here. I I think that, like I said, I moved here less than a month, uh, less than a year ago. But I think this is a great place. Um, just uh, a, a little bit note on um, uh -huh. uh, the correction. Yes. I uh, I vividly remember when I made an investment in Silicon Valley around 2002, 2002. Okay. Those that really the chilly winter time for venture capitalist. Yes. But uh, my most successful company all came from that period. So I would say I would say I actually look for some correction and then <laughs> we made the investment and, and support the entrepreneur to make success in the future. That's uh, what I look forward to. I hope we can burst the bubble here today though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Great. Well thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Okay.